universal tennis rating system as an algorithm. Okay, so it was established by some you know, tennis-loving, Harvard-educated, smart people, much smarter than me. Um, and um, about nine years ago, actually, it was first come up with the idea, uh, and they tested it, retested it, and now it's in 202 countries that are using it exclusively as their their guide to the levels of a tennis player. Okay, so. Um, Traditional ranking pathways, whether it's Australia or not, don't necessarily tell all the story of a player's level. Okay, so it's possible to be 450 in Australia and be better than 100. A player ranked 150. Okay, that's possible. Um, so it's so the ranking system doesn't necessarily tell a coach at the true level of a player. And so what this effectively is, it becomes a handicap, like a golf is. So so if you have a player sitting here who's you know, sitting at number 11 on the scale of a 16 point scale, okay, goes and plays someone in Hong Kong who's also an 11, okay, they know that this system, there's a very, very good chance that's gonna be a tight match, okay? So it's level-based play. But college for guys, um, generally anywhere from seven or eight, okay, which again is fairly low level for a college player. Um, you can find some opportunities right up to uh, the top players are, are in the 15s at college, okay? On the girls' side, as I said, it's four up to around about 12. This is a quote from one of the top 50 coaches in America, former top 50 ATP player himself, actually. So you can look at a 13.68 rated player versus a 13.48 and be very confident 13.68 wins 80% of the time. I reckon that's massive. I reckon that just, just tells you the accuracy of it. An example of who's 16 on the scale? So Fed, Fed is 16.23 at the moment. 16.5 is the best you can be. Nadal 16.32. Uh, based on your last 30 matches across a 12 month period. Okay? So it doesn't necessarily mean the number one in the world has the highest UCR necessarily. 15s. These are the types of people who are in the 15s. Okay? Good old Nick. Johnny Millman. Okay, Cameron Norrie is just graduated in May as well from that Texas Christian University who we just saw on the video before. Um, and he's got straight into the US Open and I think he might have won a round or two. Um, great player, New Zealand guy. Um, and then Bernie is the same level as Norrie, which gives you, shows you that you're pretty close coming out of college at that top level to, to our guys that are pretty well established on the tour. 14s on the scale, JP I talked about, Aussie guy. He's ranked 202 in the world, and he's a 1493. Uh, there are also about 50 college players, not necessarily all from Division One, by the way. There's some in Division Two as well that are that are in the 14 range. 13. You're looking at Serena, Garbine, uh, Ashley Barty, and there's about 100 male college players that are in that range as well. Okay, just gives you an, gives you an idea. So you would expect that one of those college players playing Ashley Barty uh, are going to have a tight match. Yep. So 12, Astra Sharma's a Perth girl. She's one of the highest ranked players in uh, America at college. Okay? Um, she's the top ranked Australian player in college. I think she's top five overall. So she's a 12.09, that's, that's, that's a good UTR. Corey, who's a Voyager lad, I believe. Just to give you a comparison, 12.55 at the moment, young Rinky. Young Rinky, you'd expect to have a tight match with Dasher. Uh, okay? And very accurate. I'd love to see it, actually. And you might recognise some of these youngsters here. I uh, know Milana's uh, Voyager girl, is that correct? Yep, as well. So, <laughs> believe it or not, these two guys have a UTR. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Does anyone know what it is? Yeah. Positive, positive or yeah. negative? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Um, both both, the same, both four. So again, that's another four. match I'd love to see. Great. <laughs> Somehow I reckon Donald would find a way to win that one. These are guides only, please, guys. So don't <coughs> take this as the gospel. Uh, but these these are the the rough guides to if you're at these UTRs, you're, you're going to be looking at some scholarship opportunities. Okay. The higher you are, obviously, the more opportunities will come your way. But as a guide, purely as a guide, at this right at this point in time for an Australian. Uh, male uh, looking to go and play Division One, you, you know the, the scholarships start to get really um, juicy. I guess uh, at 11.5, 11 11 11.5 and up from there. Okay, on the women's side, you want to be starting at seven to be looking at you know, scholarship in Division One. 
and Div 2. Um, 9.5 on the men's side would be sort of your starting point and it goes all the way up. There's, as I said, some good players in Division 2 playing um, at 14 UTR, very strong. Um, same with women's, goes all the way up, but it starts a bit lower. So there's just a broader range um, of scholarship availability. When you look, you know, lower your eyes a little bit and look other than that Division 1.